Hello guys, today is day three. I'm gonna be making cookies and talking about uh, what I used to do for a career. I think that'd be a really good idea. Hopefully I don't um, mess up because sometimes as I talk, I forget what I'm doing, but. So welcome um, and enjoy. <laughs> chip cookies um, or chocolate chips <laughs> so I'm gonna have to just cut up this bar of chocolate which is fun I think it's more you know organic which is a good thing so I'm just gonna cut that in <laughs> so a little bit about me I used to be a server and Oh wow, this is strong. I started out at Boston Pizza in White Court for, since I was like 14 years old. Um, my friend, her parents owned it, so, and still own it, so that was a blessing. So I started there when I was really young, 14, 13, 14, something around there. And I worked there for four years, which was, you know, it was quite the experience. I wouldn't say it was anything uh, super. I mean, I definitely learned how to deal with people. That's what I did for four years. And then when I got married, I never wanted to be a server. I don't really, I don't know. It's definitely an interesting kind of job, but yeah. Um, but when I worked there, it was, I don't know. I've had some bad experience there, to be honest. My manager was not that nice, but that's all I'm going to say because some people that I know could be watching this and who know who the manager was, but whatever. So, I need a bowl. So we got the chocolate chips. Ready. So I have half a cup of butter. These are just regular chocolate chip cookies, by the way. I don't know if I said that. Half a cup of butter, half a cup of granulated sugar. Oh, that's hard. But yeah, so um, I worked there until I got married. Um, and then Gage actually was the one that helped me get my next job, which was at the parlor, Italian kitchen and bar downtown in Edmonton across from McEwen. It was a good job. I worked there for a year. So 2017, I worked there for a year, and I it was it was really good. I had really good hours. The people were pretty good. Definitely different coming to a big city compared to like you know a small town where everyone knows everyone, and then you come to a big city where I don't know anybody at all. But that's okay. We made it. We're still here. And I worked days only, which was a huge blessing. Because usually, like, serving jobs, you usually have to... Um, dang, I have way too much sugar. I still think this is way too much. Half a cup. Um, but yeah, so I left the parlor and I didn't really um, know where I was going after it because I had gotten a job at this one place called, um, what was it called? I'm not going to actually say it, but it was, it was a high-end women's fashion store in the mall, West Edmonton Mall. It was really nice. I worked there for about a week. Ever. Everyone was Christian and then they let me go and they didn't even tell me why but we're just gonna leave that there too because God forgives and I do too. Hallelujah. 
I didn't actually end up working for like after that I didn't end up working for like I actually went, went to school for like a semester so I went to Vanguard College to do worship ministry but that literally capped out too I had to ditch that which was also super unfortunate God's timing, God's planning, whatever he has planned, it's gonna be fine. I'm, I'm still alive, I'm making cookies. Everything's okay, the world is okay. Vanilla extract syrup, I'm gonna put this in here. So after Vanguard, um, I met someone who helped me out with a job and she, oh, there's no more. One hand. Oh, oh. <laughs> oopsies. Question of the day. Um, what comes first? The chicken? <laughs> my one egg. My one large egg. Voila. But yeah, after Vanguard, met this girl. She was super cool. We became BFFs. Um, she worked at Earl's in West Hamilton Mall. So which is really funny because I had worked at the mall for a week and then I got another job after like like five months though. Like it was like when I was I started late in Vanguard in like January and then went till April, so four months, and then I got a job in like May, I think. So whatever April. Or no, June. It was June. So I was actually just a couple months after like school, but I didn't work during school and stuff, so. Okay. What? This is so much fun. Aren't we having fun? Everyone's having fun. <laughs> um, I just need flour. Can you see? We're close. La, la, la. Gage really wanted chocolate chip cookies. As you guys knew from, I think, day one. But anyway, so at Earl's, when I worked there, um, one funny thing about Earl's, I experienced my worst customer ever at Earl's. It was awful. I've never, and like, I've had like over five years of serving because I did it since I was 14. So when I had this one customer, I don't even know who they, like what their name is, so I can't even tell you. But when I had this customer, oh, that's way too much salt. So this customer was the worst. Um, they, when they sat down, the first thing they said to me was, uh, when we order fries, they better come out right from the oven into our mouth. That's the first thing that they said to me. And tip, don't ever like, just smile at your server because usually they've had a pretty rough day like and it was also Canada day it was just like everything happened like there was a, a beer keg that exploded in the, the cooler like it was just wild and then this customer was so like just so mad and so I made sure I wrote down notes got all their orders right and everything and um, I brought the fries out. I made. I told the people in the kitchen. I was like, "Hey, you guys need to make sure that the fries are hot because they're a little picky about their fries." And I was like, "Whatever, all good, no worries." Because I'm just treating it like a normal customer, as would anybody. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I I got their fries literally right out from the oven. And they had already by this time have, had asked for the manager because I don't know if they maybe thought like I was incapable. I don't know what was going on. Who knows? But bless them. Thank you, God. And like I've literally brought the fries right to their right to their mouths, basically. And they looked at me and they like I had literally like dropped it down and went to like walk away and then they like I just checked, like kind of looked over my shoulder or I had walked away and like was coming back and they saw me and they, they did this, which is like, this is what you don't do if you um, don't do this to your server. But they looked at me and they're like, oh you? And they like went like this, like just come here. And I was like, 
yo, who, what, what's wrong? Tell me. They're like, so step one, they're like, so first thing, oh, they had a list. <laughs> they had a list. So they said step one or number one or whatever they said, they were like, the fries are cold. I feel the bottom, they're cold. And I was like, like, I don't know, like, what, is, what does a server do? Like, I don't know. Okay, sorry, like I'll make you new ones. I don't know, and it's, I don't even make them, so it's not, you know, I already watched them come out, so whatever. I literally brought the manager over to them because they're like, we need to talk to a manager. Like, we just, we can't even, like, talk to you. And apparently the one chicken burger was cold or raw, I don't know, but it's just like, hey man, this is the fancy stuff. So I grabbed, I grabbed them, the manager, and I was just like, yo, like, this is just the worst day ever. I've never had anybody like this. Uh, they were ruthless. My manager actually ended up taking over the table. That's how much they hated me. Who knows? I changed the camera just because I wanted it to be more personal. The cookies are really good. I'll show you them. Um... I actually thought there was gonna be way more, like dough, but it's not bad. I can make more. Smaller. Yeah. Bacon. Ooh. Ah. I should have put extra salt in them just for gauge. <laughs> After um, the the like time with that crabby lady, I only worked at Earl's for only like. Um, two months and then they fired me or let me go however you want to call it i kind of saw it coming though i just i started losing a bunch of shifts it was really strange but maybe there were other reasons and that's okay but i think i handled it really well it was an amazing experience to be able to work at earl's it was the best money i've ever made in my life at a serving job in west Edmonton mall and yeah it was really good it was good but like it definitely happened for a reason why I left, so I'm really thankful for that. And now, Gage and I do the books, which you guys have heard, and that's going really well. I was actually, at first I was really skeptical about it, just cause, I don't know, it's a, it's a lot of work, but it gets easier, and like, it's more compound, I think that's the word, so it, it just compilates, compilates, compiles. It's just, you don't really see the money right away, but after like a month, it's just like, holy smokes, like all that work that we did was totally worth it. But yeah, so that's a little bit about what I've done for a career. I'm only 20, I'm actually turning 21 in like 14 days. So April 16th, which is really exciting. Gonna see what happens. Um, yeah, life is really exciting. So I don't know if you guys wanna keep watching me um, make cookies. I'll probably end the video here and then show you guys the end product. I just wanted to share with you guys a fun fact about chocolate chip cookies because that's what we're doing today. Did you know that chocolate chip cookies were invented by accident? Yeah, who knew? I didn't, but according to Google, that's what happened. So, wow, whoever invented these, whoever you are, you should do accidents more often. <laughs> Just look at those. Woo wee! Is this a cover magazine for the Cookie Model show? Wow, look at that. He is gonna be happy. Okay, guys, so, um, moral of the story cookies are an accident. That's how they were created and um, I got fired from two jobs and who knows if I will ever find true happiness, but we shall see.
it's only time will tell. My work journey continues. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being with me this far. Day three, it's just gonna keep getting better and better. Um, like I said, just send me some comments below if you want me to do something weird or something I haven't thought about because only Google goes so far. Real people are what it's, what it's about, right? So subscribe, a like, comment, do your thing. I'll see you tomorrow.